If you think that faster chess means better chess, think again. Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Nitzan Steinberg, I'm chess grandmaster and today we will talk about something very important. So we all love the thrill of fast chess games. Bullet and Blitz keeps us on the edge of our seats. But have you ever wondered if playing these fast games is really helping you to improve? In this video, we are going to dive into the differences between short and long games. And I will show you why longer games can actually help you to grow as a player. Let's start by jumping into a bullet game that I will play and see just how crazy things can get. So I'm coming to Chesscom. I will just start one minute bullet and let's play a game. It's searching for now and I really hope that someone will come very fast to play against us and it came d4 let's let him move d4 i'm playing some moves i will be quiet and we will talk about it later okay oh no Oh no, absolutely losing. I want the game! I want the game! It's interesting. Let's talk about this game, okay? So, I, I yeah, yeah, you can see it. Okay, so let's, let's understand what happened, right? So, five blunders, one mistake. Okay, I'm coming, I'm going to the first of the game. First moves, and okay, until now it's looking fine. We played very fast. So, bishop e2, a6, yeah, bishop d3, I don't know why I didn't play. Also, b5 here. Yeah, looks strong. Bishop e2. Now bishop b2. Knight e4. Castle f5. Start rook b1. What is this move? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Knight xe4. Queen b3. Looks fine. Rook b1. I don't know what. What is the point? Rook f6. I took a knight e5. Rook h6. F4. Um, okay. Takes. D takes. Of course, f takes should be the move. Uh, right. It's looking very good the f file is open also bishop c1 attacking this rook d takes is only uh, bad because also this rook will be bad here and also these two pawns will be just uh, you know promoting right uh, fast pawns and 
that's it. So d takes c5, very bad move. Queen h4, h3, and now bishop c3, rook g8. I play the move king h1, and that's it. Queen g3. I, I can just resign here. But I played bishop f3, takes takes. Of course, this position is absolutely losing here. Just d5, and I'm uh, d4, of course, and I resign immediately after bishop takes bishop c6, and I'm lost, like uh, absolutely losing. Uh, rook f8, just king h2, starting to play. So much mistakes, of course, you know, rook d8, f5. Nothing to worry about for black, yeah? Just piece up and the position is just losing. h6, for example, I don't know, takes, takes, rook h8. The game is over, absolutely, knight c3, knight e4. I don't have any plans here, but I play like somehow rook e5, bishop c1, takes, takes. Coming with the king, of course, this position is also absolutely winning for uh, for black. But here a4, bishop d3, bishop b2, b5 I played. Now knight b6, just bring me full knight, right? And as you can see, uh, this player is very strong one. He's an international master from Azerbaijan. Uh, so, okay, I took a full knight, thank you. Rook d3, king a2. Here, uh, you know, like seven seconds per each one of us. This position should be winning for me, right? Uh, I don't know how, but just probably bring the king, uh, king b2, king c3. This pawn on a5 is weak. I'm, I'm putting like, you know, <laughs> this one, just take the bishop. Thank you very much for the bishop. Just game over immediately, but I don't see it, right? Bishop takes b5, I can take the, the bishop, right? It's not a chess, as you can see, just, it just like, um, of course, drawish position should be here, but here already no, because I have like g6 with king e7 threats, like uh, just promoting a queen. Here, of course, just taking the bishop, but I have only two seconds on the clock. So, so much bad things here, and I'm putting the queen, and after it, I'm bringing it uh, queen e3 just, you know, to to win on time. This was my thought, of course. Um, so, I, I, I don't have time, nine seconds, uh, nine, uh, you know, below of one second in this position so trying to play somewhere and my opponent uh, lost on time um wow what a bad game right so it was not a chess game i didn't think so much i didn't uh, evaluate the position i didn't think about positional understanding nothing just you know like take this mouse and playing okay so well this one was really intense, right? As you can see, this bullet game was chaotic, full of quick decisions, and honestly, a lot of mistakes. In a game like this, you know, there's hardly any time to think about strategy or long-term planning. You're just reacting to your opponent's uh, moves and hope, op hoping for the best, right? So that's why in bullet, it's often more about speed than accuracy. Now let's move on a blitz game, uh, which gives a little more time for thinking, but still keeps the pressure high. Let's start uh, a new blitz game. Uh, I will do three minutes and let's see if there are some players here. My rating is 2913. I'm playing against Kirin Kirill and he don't want to play against me because he from United Arab Emirates. Okay, good luck for you, guy. Uh, I also don't want to play against you, unfortunately. Um, let's see. I don't want to play because you don't want to play. I, I want to play with all of you. Uh, but if you don't like, it's your choice. Everything is fine. So, three minutes. You don't want to play against me? Three minutes. Also, three plus one maybe I will do. And also, three plus two. And someone will play against me, I think, overall. Let's see. No way, there is nothing here to play against, right? There is no one. Yeah, I promise you. I promise you. One of one of the players now uh, will react, and I will play against him. So let's see. I will wait for five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Come on, I, I, I told you, d4, let's play. Against international master from Canada. Yes, let's play, let's play the London system. So c5, e3, now knight bd2, I think. Um, interesting, okay. 
So let's think. E6, he wants to play bishop d6 probably. Now bishop. No, I will play the move bishop g3 now. And yeah, now bishop b5, let's play. You know, also bishop d3 was interesting. To play knight e5 with f4. Uh, but bishop b5, okay, let's play just. So here, okay, I will take it and play queen a4. I want to think about this pawn on c6 and I exchange this bishop because I really like uh, these knights here. And now he, there is double pawns, of course he can take c takes d4, but there will be some squares here. So now I really want to take it and play queen a3. This was my a point i'm talking this pawn on c5 there is a pin right knight e7 and i think i can do knight b3 uh, but i also can yeah i can't i think i can play knight b3 right let's do it yeah e5 should be the move i will i will play castle uh, probably but also d takes e5 What about d takes e5? I'm not sure about it. You know, knight takes e5, I like. And I take, I really like this one. Because knight takes e5, I will take this. And yeah, immediately. Okay. Also makes sense, of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I will take this with my queen, probably. And after queen g2, probably long castle. Uh, yeah, this position is not so easy, of course, to play. But let's hope for the best, right? And this is why we were playing chess. So rook d2, I like. And the next move will be rook g1, probably. But yeah, rook g1 now. And I have some initiative here, a little bit, right? Now knight d4, looking very strong for me. Queen e4, probably he will play, right? Because he want to bring checkmate here. I will take the bishop and take on c6. This one, I thought rook g7. No, looking strong. Maybe I have something better. No, rook g7 looking strong. Um, now, he wants to put me checkmate on the board. No, not immediately, right? So rook g3 makes sense. Yeah, take it. Yeah, we'll do it, right? Uh, I think it's good. Let's play it. Rook g3 coming back. Queen e1, rook d1. And after it, I will take this bishop. Probably it will be fine. And uh, yeah, I'll queen f2 maybe he will play. Yeah. This one I like for him. But maybe. Yeah, it's not so easy. Not so easy. Maybe b3, you know? Or it's. Or I need to be afraid here. I'm not sure. Let's try, right? Let's try b3. Because queen takes a2, I'm not sure about it. Queen e7 I can play, and queen f6 is a big threat here. So now what are my threats? Yeah, rook, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, and I don't have so much time. Let's play queen e7. Oh, it's c5 here. Oh no. But you know, it's not so easy. Because rook f3 maybe, this is my threat. c5, rook f3, rook queen f6 check, knight f5, and some attack here. Interesting, queen a2, knight, interesting. Really, really interesting position to play. Yeah, rook f3 I, I thought, right? And now queen f6 will be played, knight f5 immediately. 34 seconds I have, and not so much, right? Um, and knight f5, yeah, queen f6, and now knight f5, I thought. And this, you know, there are some checkmate ideas. Knight h6, knight e7, queen g7. So this one, now queen king here. And now I thought. Queen takes also looking strong. Yeah, it 
it was a bad idea yeah I'm losing ops of course what I'm doing yeah I lost this game okay let's learn let's learn together so it was interesting game right and so it was the London system and now Bishop g3 Bishop b5 takes takes Queen a4 was right takes takes Queen a3 I like it Knight e7 Knight b3 e5 Knight takes and this was a mistake why because of the Queen g6 immediately d takes e5 was a little bit better why and now I understand because he, he should have played the moon knight x5 and now I take and he must take it. And this position, yeah, it's it's good. Queen g5, maybe king f1. Yeah, interesting position. White is better because one pawn up. Yeah, not so easy, of course, because the king is not safe here, but overall it is interesting. Knight x5 takes takes queen g6, queen c5, queen g2, long castle, queen f2, rook d2, now rook g1. I played better. Now queen takes e3 was a mistake, but not so easy. King h8, rook g. Wow, we, we played it good. Now b3 was the accurate move. Now queen e7, c5, rook f3. This position is winning. Yeah, uh, is winning. King d3. Wow, checkmate in nine. Unbelievable, unbelievable. King d3 was winning absolutely. Yeah, it's it's really br brilliant solution. After c4, king d4. The only move for winning. For white, unbelievable. As you can see, this king on d4 is just amazing placed. So king d3 just winning absolutely. King e1, and now rook takes f5. Yeah, rook takes f5, and that's it. Yeah, rook g5 is the next move, and checkmate, right? So queen c3, just king f1, and going here, and that's it. There is no checks. Queen h3, for example, I don't know, king g1. Yeah, that's it. h6, rook f3 with rook g3. Yeah, and winning. So. Yeah, I was winning absolutely right, but I don't have time here. 20 seconds on the clock. And I lost, of course, this position with no time and no position and lost the game. So congratulations for my opponent. And now let's learn from it. So, you know, it was definitely less chaotic than the bullet, right? Uh, but as you saw, there were still some rushed decisions in, and missed opportunities. I was winning absolutely. You know, while Blitz gives you a bit more time to think, it's still not enough to fully dive into a complex strategies or find the best moves and of course to calculate every variation. So you can easily miss critical moments in the heat of the game. Now let's jump to into a, a you know much longer game where we really see how taking your time can lead to a better decisions and deeper understanding of the position. So let's do a rapid game. Let's play like 10 minutes. I'm not sure that someone uh, will play against me because I need to put like maybe 400 rating below. Um, yeah, this is better option. Let's see how much time it will take to play against uh, a rapid game. And we got it. So we're playing against, um, you know, good player from Poland and he aborted. I don't know why, but okay. Um, let's play against, oh, good player from Netherlands. Let's see. So until now, um, overall, it's looking fine. I don't know, let's play knight f6. I don't know, want so much theory. Yeah, you can play c3 and it's lo it's London with, with tempo, right? <laughs> I, I don't like it for me. Uh, yeah, or already I missed something. Uh, yeah, knight f6 was not a clever move, in my opinion, but okay. Let's, let's try to play it. Um, with confidence, so bishop g4. I really like to play the move e6 with bishop d6. This is my plan here. And now bishop h5. Overall, yeah, queen a4. Yeah, I, I like this option for my opponent. Uh, he wants to play the move knight e5. This is the threat. So I think knight d7 looks fine for me. 
and I hope it's fine overall because 95 this is the threat and I really want to avoid from it and now I have some options here after queen e4 I have uh, ideas like a6, b5, c4, bishop e7, maybe bishop g6 uh, because this bishop is looking very strong here also this bishop on f4 uh, is looking great but you know we have time let's think uh, you know one move by one move what is our threats and what is our plan and we are not hurry anywhere anywhere So as you can see is thinking and g4 was played okay so the bishop is under attack we are going to g6 and now h takes g6 and I, I can tell you that I really like this position yeah h4 okay so it seems that he's starting to attack in this um, in this you know king side but after h5 I'm not sure I, I need to take maybe I can play the move g5 so until now bishop e7 looking uh, for me at least fine and I really want to think about the the white's plan because he probably he don't want to castle short side right and if he will castle long side maybe I will prepare uh, the move a6 b5 b4 and try and try to attack in the queen side so in this position first of all I really like this one I think uh, I'm in a good position overall uh, I, 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 I managed to equalize um, the opening but yeah bishop g3 so i think a6 is a good move here i'm trying to, to play the move b5 in the in the next future and yeah i'm not sure that this king on e1 will be safe at all after some moves here so a6 um also this is my plan to play very slowly solid uh, with yeah rook queen c2 so I, I like to see such moves and now i will play the move rook c8 i know that i i'm not sure where i will put uh, my king but for now my king on e8 is totally safe in my opinion uh, rook c8 i'm bringing another piece into the um, uh, active positions and now b5 b4 c takes d4 maybe knight f6 attacking this pawn on g4 i have some plans uh, and my king on e8 is better than the king on e1 in my opinion at least but of course it's not so easy to understand because you know also my king i don't know here I will not castle right and here it's very afraid because h5 so the king should be in the center of the board king f1 was played I, I like this move yeah it's it's really nice one let's play the move b5 now king g2 probably will he, he will play um yeah and I will play the move queen b6 let's bring another piece into um into the active positions and now don't forget that c takes d4 maybe can can be a threat here after e takes d4 it, it will be a mistake because knight takes d4 and i have yeah so d takes c5 was played and uh, so knight knight takes c5 I, I think but probably after knight takes c5 he will try to play the move e4 and and really uh, think about the d5 square i think i should i don't know it's interesting yeah probably i should take it with the knight but if yeah h5 wow interesting interesting decision um i don't know it feels like i need to take it uh, i think i need to take this but rook takes rook takes g takes and queen h7 right this is is idea here so probably g5 should be the move here yeah because i i don't want to exchange these rooks because queen h7 will be terrifying for me this king is not safe right so e4 i think um he should have played this one now uh, and maybe I, I, I made a mistake with queen b6 because now the queen on b6 is not so good right so maybe queen d8 I will come back uh, to protect this pawn on d5 I don't know I really don't know also rook d8 interesting move but yeah I'm not sure that after e4 I think that white maybe is fine at least uh, also bishop f6 i can play some you know you know uh, improving his position I, I like also the queen b7 move you know this diagonal is very important uh, for me and the queen here doesn't do so much um, work so queen b7 maybe 
it will be my next move if something um, you know very scary will not happen as you can see I have a lot of time I'm playing fast maybe I'm playing fast because I played now blitz and bullet right so you know my um, my time management is not um, associated with the time control and it's something to think about it don't forget it so e4 was played yeah he's, he's playing um, the right moves probably yeah interesting interesting I need to make a decision here Yeah, probably I need to take it uh, and now another, another time to take or maybe queen b7 also interesting but yeah I'm not sure I like my position you know I'm not sure at all but let's take it with queen b7 because I really I think overall I need to replace some pieces I need to exchange these queens because if I will exchange it you know knight a5 knight c4 rook c4 maybe this pawn on g4 bishop f6 I have feeling that I I'm I'm fine position uh, and now knight a5 this is my plan here probably a4 should be interesting move by my opponent let's see what is going on what is want to do here after a4 probably b4 uh, c takes before queen takes before I really like yeah bishop e5 I, I thought it in the beginning uh, when he played a move e4 that he will play the move bishop e5 and it's a really nice move I think because he's attacking this pawn on g7 and, and yeah I'm not I'm not sure I like this position for me so yeah I have some some problems here I can tell you that I have some problems here uh, and I see only bishop f6 and this is a bad bad position for me yeah I don't like it I really don't like it but I should play the move bishop f6 here because f6 queen g6 right and king f8 I think h6 is very strong for my opponent so yeah probably I must play move bishop f6 and yeah this is looking bad it's looking bad uh, and yeah I, I had a, I, I, I did a mistakes here um, but overall but overall I of course thinking and I'm trying to play the best that I can play now takes takes and here I'm not sure I'm not sure about bishop takes e5 maybe somehow like h6 or maybe rook is coming to the game but this one I'm not sure because now this pawn structure is very strong yeah rook d1 so I thought knight a5 to play and now it's more than logical for me um, because yeah he's taking it I will take it rook c4 I have some really active moves here uh, so knight e4 was played okay probably yeah he wants to bring this rook here so you know also also short castle interesting maybe it's time right um i think it's time i'm doing the short castle really interesting endgame and I have three minutes above right So yeah, rook. Yeah, I thought that he will play this more, uh, but I'm not sure because rook d1. Yeah, and after it, what he will, will what he wants to do after it. This is the question. Knight a5 is interesting. What he will go with a knight somewhere, and yeah, it's an interesting position. I think knight a5 looking good because I really want to bring this knight to c4 and ask him what you what you want to do with this rook on d2 
And as you can see, we are playing already 28 moves, and only now my opponent is coming to the three minute play, right? So this is interesting position. Knight c4, so b3 cannot play because the pawn on c3 is hanging. I thought knight b3, but knight c4 with rook d7, knight takes b2. And this is good for me because this pawn on c3, sorry, will be uh, weak after all. Um, so what he can play, maybe rook hd1, but knight c4, rook e2 probably, rook fd8, looking very good for me. I think in this position I already a little bit outplayed my opponent, but of course there is so much rooms to, to handle this pressure here and, you know, to come with a win. So I must do my best here to be focused. Yeah, rook h3 was placed, so knight c4, yeah, also, also rook fd8, interesting solution to play. Uh, because I'm bringing the rook and now, yeah, he's doing this one, yeah, he, he, this is a good move um, probably knight c4 but hey, rook f3, this is his threat, this is what he wants to do so I need to consider this, knight c4, I think rook f3 I can just play king g7 with king g6 after h6 right, I think yes, and also after rook f3 I can play the move knight e5, rook takes f6, just knight takes g4, rook f3 and I don't know, maybe some move knight, it's just, no, no, I don't like it. Maybe king g7, right? Um, another option, no, king g7, let's play it. King g7, yeah, I need to play this one. Because h6, I just can take it also and coming back. And also I can just push king g6 because knight e5, this will be the next move. And also don't forget that I have some options with b4. I don't know, maybe immediately, what do you think? b4? I like this move because I'm, I'm starting to, to have some problems here for my opponent. Uh, I think I will do it, b4. This knight is a little bit in his hair, right? And knight takes b2, uh, also interesting option here because after takes, b takes c3, attacking this also rook and also the knight on d4. So yeah, um, in this position, it's already not so easy for my opponent to play and only with one minute and 40 seconds. Um, so let's let's think, let's think together. Maybe he should go. Wow, knight takes c6. This is surprisingly, but um, I'm not sure it's it's bad for my opponent. So let's think. He's attacking this pawn on f6 and also the pawn on a6. And the first move that comes to my mind is the, the move rook d6. After rook f takes, I will can take and a5. And yeah, interesting. I, I'm not sure. I'm not, you know, I'm not sure at all that, that it's winning for me. I'm not sure. Um, I have another move, but probably it's not working. Probably. Yeah, I thought about the move knight d2. Because knight takes a, a rook f6, knight d4 I have. Rook e7 I have rook king f8 and rook 3. Uh, rook f3, e3, I have knight f1, but knight d2, if I will play, he will play with rook f5. And this is something that I don't want to see, probably, but also interesting, you know, I can take, you know, maybe it's strong. Maybe I will play knight d2, you know? Wow, rook e7, yes. I like it, I like it. Knight d2, I think is the best. I think this is good. This move is the best move in the position because rook e5. I I don't see any move. Oh h6. I missed this one. <laughs> I already saw. Wow! I missed this one. Wow! I missed this one. It's beautiful. Really beautiful. Really beautiful move by my opponent. Uh, it's just amazing. Amazing. You know, uh, just brilliant. But I will try. I will try. I don't know how I will try. But I will try. Maybe let's play king h8, you know? King h8, I will do it. Let's play fast now. You don't have so much time, right? Uh, and this is a rapid game, don't forget. So I think also this position is interesting because this pawn really want to promote, so I will take it now. Now f3, oh, king g2, I also this one I forgot. Wow, really strange. I forgot, I, today... Yeah, I'm not in my best shape, but let's let's play rook c4. I'm attacking this pawn, and um, yeah, yeah. King g3 cannot play because knight e4. F3, I'm not sure. Rook c2, it's a little bit annoying for him. 
uh, I think King H3 is the only move here. F, yeah, this one. I thought I will play Rook C2. And Rook E2 should be the move, right? But I will take it. And this position, I don't know. I really don't know. Uh, but it it looks interesting for me. Maybe I have some options to win it, but I'm not sure. You know what? After Rook E2, maybe I have Knight E4 takes Knight X F6. And yeah, it's good options to win this position. I think rookie two. I will play knight e4. I will play this move. Yeah, knight x. And now after, I think I thought to play this move knight d5. Now knight f4. I thought. Um, yeah, knight f4. Yeah, and now maybe rook e8 or not. Yeah, I'm not sure. Queen king h7. Let's play. Maybe now rook e8. Or rook d3 maybe. Let's play rook d3. Rook a1, a3, sorry. I'm not sure about this move. Let's take it. Take this one also. Going here. Now we're coming here. This position should be losing for my opponent. Um, but let's try, you know, to show it. King here, probably now, no, or ninety six. Okay, King F five also. King D four. Or ninety six. Yeah. So I won the game. Let's uh, analyze very quickly. So you know, it, it was an interesting game. Knight f six and this position, he got like the London uh, with one tempo up. And now knight d seven. I think it was a good move. Bishop g six takes takes and h four was played. Bishop e seven. Bishop g three. Of course, defending this pawn. And now I played move a six. As you can see, I played normal moves until now. There there were no blunders uh, in my opinion in, in this game. But let's see. So b5, yeah, c takes d4, wow, c takes d4, but after e takes d4, knight f6, I'm attacking this pawn on g4, and g5, knight h5, yeah. This is, makes sense, yeah. b5 was a little bit too hurry to play, 6 seconds on the clock, yeah. Queen b6 was not a clever move, as you can see, uh, and why? Because the queen is doing nothing there. Takes, takes, and h5, g5, e4, he played very strong. Takes, 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 queen b7, bishop e5. Wow, I missed f5. You know, in one second I thought about this move, but it's really beautiful because g takes f5 and I have e takes f4. Wow, wow, this one I, I overlooked, of course. Queen f5, what is the point? Knight takes, oh, queen e5 and g4. Yeah, this is really nice. f5 was a, yeah, a miss, really miss, but also it's not so easy to, to see this move. I thought that I have some problems here. So bishop f6 I played. Uh, the second move, right? Takes, takes, rook ad1, knight a5, yeah, takes, takes, and this position, castle, knight a5, rook fd8, knight c4, king g7, now I played b4, was not the best, rook d5 was an interesting move, uh, just to bring the, the rook in a better place, yeah. b4, knight a6, very strong move by my opponent, he realized this one, takes, takes, knight e2 was played, h6, the only move, only move, for white, brilliant one, king h8, very strong, rook f takes, 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 king g2, rook c4, f3, rook c2, rook e2, knight e4, takes, takes, and this position, yeah, not so easy to for him to handle here a draw, and he missed some uh, pawns, of course, and the time were uh, bad for him, so I just bring in the king and won the game. So, you know, overall, let's do a conclusion, right? So, you know, as you saw in the longer game, right, having more time to think allows to explore the position in greater depth. And I could plan ahead, evaluate different possibilities and make few rushed mistakes. This is the key difference between fast games and long games. Longer games give you the chance 
to fully engage with the strategy and really understand what's happening on the board. If you want to truly improve as a chess player, mastering longer games is essential. They force you to slow down, think critically, and refine your skills. Thanks for watching, and you know, if you really like this video, don't forget to smash that like button. And also subscribe my channel for more chess content, and I really, really appreciate if you can comment your ideas and thoughts about this video. See you soon. Bye-bye.